Fortune 500 companies are throwing money at problems that 89% of developers can't solve. So while everyone's chasing Python and JavaScript trends, there's a massive gap, uh, skill gap sitting right under our noses. Major enterprises are paying premium salaries for developers who can do something that sounds basic but apparently isn't. What happens when legacy .NET systems need to talk to modern AI platforms? What occurs when decades of business critical code needs to integrate with today's cloud infrastructure? The answer is creating a gold rush that most developers are totally missing out on. Are you one of the 11% who actually has the skill? Are you about to discover the most lucrative learning path in software development? Let's dive into this because it's a tough job market out there. So you want something that differentiates you? Let's jump into this today. Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer, and here at Startup Hack, we love to build custom software solutions for companies. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years of software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. So the .NET developer market is experiencing something I haven't seen in a long time in this industry. While everyone's distracted by the latest JavaScript framework or AI hype or Python this or ML that, Fortune 500 companies are desperately searching for developers who can bridge the gap between legacy .NET systems and modern technology gap, the stacks. The skill gap is creating a massive opportunity for developers who are smart enough to fill it. Let's jump into this report and take a look at it really quick. So Fortune 500 companies learning, learning dead technologies might be more profitable. Microsoft MVP status is 67,000 plus average. So Fortune 500 companies are desperate for this, uh, this skill, right? So three weeks ago, I started scraping every .NET job posting from Indeed, LinkedIn, and some Indian platforms, and I discovered the skill gap and salary patterns completely changed how I think about .NET. Sorry to say, but yes, uh, like Fortune 500 uh, companies. So entity framework developers, 95,000. Average Dapper developers, 135,000. But people still fight me and argue in the comments section, right? And after searching a lot, I found two to 3,000 job posts about data access requirements, right? So Entity Framework Core, Dapper, Raw SQL, right? Um, so companies pay significantly more for Dapper expertise because they don't want something that looks like this, right? But what they actually want is something that looks like this. So another thing is that people pay a premium for dying technology, right? So Web Forms 2025, still 312 job postings, and you don't know what average they're going to pay is $125,000 per job. So this guy goes through and goes through a bunch of the old trainings uh, and talks about some of the old jobs and some of the posts that he was finding. These are for real jobs, for real things. And this is for legacy .NET systems that still run the world. Major corporations have billions of dollars worth of .NET applications that power their core business operations. These systems handle everything from payroll and inventory management to customer relationship management and financial reporting. Companies can't just rip out and replace these systems because they're too complex and business critical to risk downtime. The original developer who built many of these systems have retired or moved on, leaving huge knowledge gaps. Modern developers avoid .NET because they think it's the old technology, but that's exactly what makes it valuable. Organizations pay top dollar for developers who can maintain, modernize, and integrate these legacy systems. Now, little secret for you, .NET is one of the best modern languages. We use it on all of our projects and my uh, clients absolutely love it but it can also need to be able to know some of the past stuff. So the combination of the two makes you a totally lethal uh, weapon, right? So the AI integration challenge that nobody wants to talk about because companies want to add AI capabilities to their existing .NET applications, but most developers can't bridge that gap. If you're an AI expert, you're gonna walk in saying, I know ML and Python, and then they hand you this old legacy .NET framework application, they're like, what's that? Um, integrating modern APIs with legacy .NET code bases requires understanding both old and new architecture patterns. You need to know how to handle data serialization, authentication, and error handling between completely different technology generations. Most AI-focused developers work in Python and have never touched enterprise .NET development practices. .NET developers who learn AI integration become increasingly valuable because they can speak both languages fluently. This combination of legacy knowledge and modern AI implementation is what Fortune 500 companies are desperately seeking. Now, as always, the best compliment you can give me is to leave a comment down below because I love to get the comments and I read all of them personally. So please let me know about what your thoughts are about this topic because I'm sure I'm going to get some responses. So let me hear your thoughts on it.
Now, companies have massive .NET applications running on premise that need to be moved to Azure, AWS, or Google Cloud. This isn't just a simple lift and shift. It requires understanding containerization, microservices, and cloud native app uh, patterns. Most cloud developers don't understand .NET specific deployment requirements, configuration management, and dependency handling. I know I have a ton of developers that we've trained on new .NET Core stuff, and I started talking to them about page postbacks and about the old page life cycles and all this kind of stuff, and their eyes just glazed over, right? .NET developers who master that kind of old stuff and then understand Docker, Kubernetes, cloud deployments, pipelines can command very large salaries. The ability to modernize .NET applications for cloud environments while maintaining business continuity is incredibly rare. Organizations will pay premium rates for developers who can execute cloud migrations without breaking critical business processes. Now, large companies require .NET applications to integrate with complex enterprise security systems like Active, Dir Active Directory and SAML. Modern authentication patterns like OAuth2 and OpenID Connect need to work seamlessly with existing .NET security infrastructures. Most developers learn basic authentication, but enterprise-grade security integration requires deep understanding of both systems. So you need to know how to implement role-based access control, multi-factor authentication, and security auditing all within .NET frameworks. Compliance requires SOX, HIPAA, GDPR, create additional complexities that require specialized knowledge. So .NET developers who understand enterprise security architecture are incredibly scarce and barely highly compensated. Modern businesses need their .NET systems to communicate with dozens of third-party services and internal applications. That's part of the reason why here at Startup Hack, our specialty is connecting systems to help your company work effectively. Because building robust APIs that can handle enterprise scale traffic while maintaining backwards compatibility is a specialized skill. Here at Startup Hack, we understand RESTful design patterns, GraphQL implementations, and real-time communication pat patterns like SignalR. Most developers can build basic APIs, but, cre but creating enterprise-grade interfaces that scale require deep architectural knowledge and a lot of experience. Integration patterns like message queues, event sourcing, and distributed transactions are essential for large-scale systems. Companies pay a premium salary for developers who can design and implement complex integrations, integration solutions that actually work in production. Now, enterprise.net applications work with massive database that require specialized optimization techniques and integration patterns. Understanding an entity framework, stored procedures, and complex query optimization is crucial for handling enterprise data loads. Most of developers learn basic database operations, but enterprise applications require knowledge of connection pooling, caching strategies, and distributed data management. You need to know how to implement database migrations handle concurrent access, and maintain data consistency across multiple systems. Performance tuning for high-volume .NET applications involves understanding memory management, garbage collection, and threading patterns. Companies, companies desperately need developers who can troubleshoot and optimize .NET applications that serve millions of users per day, and these are the backbone of what their businesses are currently running on, so they have to stay up. .NET applications require specialized deployment pipelines that most DevOps engineers don't fully understand. Building robust CI-CD processes for .NET involves understanding MS build, NuGet package management, and automated testing frameworks. Now, if you think AI is going to solve all of those problems for you, you're wrong. AI can help, and it's a great you know, thing to tutor with and to talk to, but it's not going to do this for you. You need to know how to configure deployment environments, manage application configurations, and handle database schema changes. Containerization of .NET applications properly requires understanding of Docker optimization, health checks, and resource management. Most developers can deploy simple applications, but enterprise .NET deployment involves complex orchestration and good rollback strategies. Now, organizations are paying top dollars for developers who can create reliable deployment processes that, while minimizing downtime and risk. So you want to work with the latest .NET versions while maintaining compatibility with older system components, and this requires specialized architectural knowledge. You need to understand how to gradually modernize applications using strangler fig patterns and feature toggles without disrupting business uh, operations. Implementing modern development practices like dependency injection and clean architecture within legacy code bases is a complex skill. Most developers either work on greenfield projects or on legacy systems, but they rarely do both. And that's why here at Startup Hack, this is one of our specialty. We can take old systems and we can know how to bring them modern. We can build new systems for you and we can figure out how to integrate them for you. 
Understanding how to refactor legacy code while maintaining existing functionality requires deep expertise and very careful planning. And that's why 25 years in the software industry has really helped uh, me and my teams with this. And that's why I work individually with each of the teams. Companies need developers who can bridge the gap between old and new, bringing modern practices to established systems. Now, if your company needs help, reach out to us at startupack.com slash Spencer because we can help you out. So you want to break down monolithic .NET applications into microservices and this in, in some specific use cases. And this requires understanding distributed system patterns and communication protocols. You need to know how to implement service discovery, load balancing, and circuit breaker, pa circuit breaker patterns. Say that 10 times fast. Specifically within the .NET ecosystem. Most developers understand microservice theory, but implementing them properly in .NET environments will with proper monitoring and, obs and being observable is rare. Handling distributed transactions, eventual, uh, eventual consistency and data synchronization across .NET microservices requires special expertise. Understanding how to design service boundaries and manage inter-service uh, inter communication patterns is crucial for enterprise applications. Organizations are paying premium salaries for architects who can successfully decompose legacy .NET systems into scalable microservices. I know I had recently had a, a client last year that I worked with on this, that we took their big monolith and helped them break it down into smaller microservices to make the system more manageable. I'm not saying microservices is a solution for everybody, but in this use case, it made sense. Now, building real-time applications that can handle thousands of concurrent connections requires deep understanding of SignalR and WebSocket management. Most of the times, this can bring your server to your knees. Most developers build simple chat applications, but enterprise real-time systems require understanding of scaling, connection management, and performance optimization. You need to know how to implement back pressure handling, connection pooling, and graceful degradation in high traffic scenarios. Real-time data synchronization across multiple clients while maintaining consistency is a complex problem that few developers can solve effectively. Understanding how to integrate real-time features with existing .NET applications without impacting performance requires specialized knowledge. Companies pay top dollar for developers who can build reliable real-time systems that scale to enterprise requirements. Now, enterprise .NET applications running in production require specialized debugging techniques that most developers never learn. Understanding memory profiling, performance analysis, and distributed tracing across multiple services is crucial for maintaining large systems. And it's especially tricky if you're maintaining a code base that's over 10 years old, which in a lot of cases, these are. You need to know how to analyze application dumps interpret performance counters, and identify bottlenecks in complex distributed applications. Most developers can fix bugs in development. A lot of them will just throw them at AI, but troubleshooting production issues in enterprise environments requires deep system knowledge and a bit of gray hair. And as you can tell, my kids keep calling me a boomer. I've got some gray hair coming in. Understanding how to use advanced debugging tools and interpreting telemetry data from production systems is rare and valuable skill. Organizations desperately need developers who can quickly identify and resolve performance issues in mission-critical applications. So while everyone's chasing the latest front-end frameworks, .NET developers with enterprise skills are becoming increasingly scare and scarce and therefore more valuable. The combination of .NET expertise, expertise, AI integration knowledge, and enterprise architecture understanding creates a unique career position. Companies are willing to pay top dollars for salaries for developers who can handle complex .NET modernization projects. Remote work opportunities for experienced .NET developers are actually increasing because companies can't find local talent. The skill gap is widening as more developers focus on trendy tech technologies while ignoring the massive enterprise .NET market. Smart developers who invest in mastering enterprise .NET development will have career security and earning potential that outlasts technology trends. Now, Curious to hear what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I love to have a great discussion, so make sure to leave a comment down below and make sure to like and subscribe. Here at Startup Pack, we love to build custom software solutions for companies. And uh, so reach out today and you can check out startuppack.com slash Spencer. And here's some great information about our services. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. 
My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI-powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect. Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuppack.com slash